Reed O'Ryan says, Tim Soule purchased a dirt bike that had been stolen from his backyard. Now, you would agree, Mr. Soule, that if the police came to your house and checked out the bike in March, then what your girlfriend told me was a lie. No. 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 We didn't get the bike until we paid the full $400 to him. I gave her money to put down on it. Joseph. Okay. We didn't get that until after. Sorry. Sorry. This report is dated June 22nd, and this is the narrative by the police officer, that on March the 12th, he was dispatched and spoke to Jessica, mm -hmm. the police officer. I explained the situation to them as asked if I could see the motorcycle. Starbuck invited me onto the property and into the backyard where the motorcycle was located under a covered structure along with other all-terrain vehicles. That was in March. Jessica said you didn't buy the motorcycle until mid-April. So what you testified to is a lie. Starbucks said that they had purchased the motorcycle recently but did not know the name of the seller. Well, I found out the name of the seller and your memory would have been better when the police officer went out there in March than it is now, months later. All of a sudden, you gave me a name, Mario, whatever his name is, right away. And you told me exactly who he was. He was somebody that you had been a neighbor to. How come you didn't say that to the police? I don't know the name of the seller, is what you told the police. <sighs> I was speaking with Starbuck and her boyfriend, Tim Soule, arrived home, began yelling at myself and Deputy Soul told me multiple times to get off his property, and I was not welcome. Nice way to talk to the police, Mr. Soul. Nice. Says a lot about you. They're just trying to do their job. So, I don't believe you. I don't believe her. So, if I don't believe you, you know, there's one thing, if you get a good deal on a bike, or if you get a good deal on a piece of property, a watch, you know, one, one used Rolex, and for 20 bucks, <laughs> and then you sort of know that either it's a fake Rolex, or that it's a stolen Rolex. So I can say to you and your girlfriend, if what she said to me was truthful, and if the way you responded to the police was different, I may have said, you know, they were just two dopes that got duped. But you lied. You lied? I did not, I'm sorry, I did not lie. We oh, did no, not yes, purchase did. No. the bike. Yes, you did. Oh, yes, you did. A payment program. Yeah, oh, just a second. Yes, you did. His reaction to the police to tell him to get off his property is so outrageous because an innocent person wouldn't respond to the police that way if they were out there diligently following up on a call of stolen property, especially when you know that you have property that came into your possession under questionable circumstances, if I believed you, which I don't because I don't believe people who talk to police officers that way. Anyway, how damaged was the bike when you got Very it? Very damaged. How oh. much? Give, give me the figure. You bought um, the bike. I've got the figures, and I've got don't, pictures. Don't speak. Just give me the figures. Here is the... Uh... Don't, don't, don't... Listen to me. Don't speak. We know that you've been driving the bike now for eight or nine years, and we know what you paid for it. So I don't want to see a bill for what the bike cost originally ten years later. Do you understand? Yes. Good. Now, let me see what he's showing me. No, he's not paying that for it. Get it fixed if you want to. Get it fixed for $1,000. Judgment for the plaintiff. We're done. Your counterclaim's dismissed. Ladies are excused. You may step out.